The essence of forgiveness is felt more by those who know how to forgive others. That's something that's very important for us to note. I will never know the true value of being forgiven by Allah until I can forgive others. Because the crimes we commit against Allah are usually bigger than the crimes against us. But we find it so difficult to let go. And this is why Allah says, وَلَمَنْ صَبَرَ وَغَفَرَ إِنَّ ذَلِكَ لَمِنْ عَزْمِ الْأُمُورِ While you're, you have a right to, to, you know, to hold what someone has done against you in a way that you will achieve the justice, whether it's in this world or the next, Allah says what is better for you is to bear patience and to let it go, to forgive. So that's an encouragement from who? From Allah. If He is telling that to us, we need to make sure we understand that He is more forgiving. And it is even greater for us to seek His forgiveness because what we've done against Him is far worse. The effect of it will go into the hereafter, into an everlasting uh, life. So we need to make sure that we seek that forgiveness, inshallah. Now getting back to when to seek that forgiveness mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Never underestimate the words that you say to your maker as you pass your day. Oh Allah, forgive me. Grant me paradise. Have mercy on me. Oh you who made me. Oh you whom I'm going to return to. Have mercy on me. We will achieve the mercy of Allah. These words are written by the angels. They don't just pass without being written. But we sometimes forget to seek the forgiveness of Allah. Weeks pass. Months pass. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to seek the forgiveness of Allah, up to 100 times a day according to a narration yet when it comes to us days pass weeks pass we haven't even said oh Allah forgive me but we commit mm -hmm. sin he did not actually commit sin uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he was perfect so uh, it's important for us to know daily basis we seek the forgiveness of Allah let it be serious let's try our best to change our lives let's work on our bad habits you know just like we want to develop a relationship with anyone who's important on earth the most important in the entire existence is uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator. So what's important there is for us to know that relationship needs to be built every day. We need to consider it. Many of us are busy earning a livelihood. Tough mm -hmm. countries where you come from, I come from. Mm -hmm. These countries are not first world countries. In fact, even in first world countries, people suffer and struggle. But what we definitely need to know is as we struggle and as we want to earn a livelihood to, to have the plate of food in front of us, we must make sure we have built the hereafter. That will be by developing ourselves, improving our character and conduct, seeking forgiveness, developing our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this needs to be repeated again and again. Talking about earning a living, it's uh, interesting. A few years ago, we are perhaps the first radio station that had started doing your Ramadan series Mashallah. in Gambia. Uh, Paradise FM and uh, I asked this question I said is this copyright material can we actually use it and then a day or two later I think Al-Amin emailed you he said no 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 all of this is free you could use it is to spread uh, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's not really for income generation how do you make a living if you go out there most likely volunteering time energy effort knowledge into building others how do you build you you know uh, that's a very interesting question very interesting uh, I thank Allah that he has given me the ability you know uh, to to earn that which is just sufficient for myself and my family uh, whatever I've done for this for Islam from the beginning has always been totally free of charge without any copyright if it is done for Islam for the deen, for the sake of Allah, it has been open for everyone to make use of by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, we have a little family business back at home from which, alhamdulillah, I benefit as well. So, as much as others are doing the bulk of that work, I am doing the bulk of this work. So, alhamdulillah, uh, even for the, the, the religious work that I do, I've never taken a salary. Uh, I don't charge as much as a lot of people must be thinking, and I know they do, mm. that, you know, it must be costing millions of dollars to, to bring this man. This. I know of a lot of uh, others who do the same work. I don't blame them because that is their means of living. In my case, I thank Allah. That's not my, my, my point of income. And uh, alhamdulillah, like I say, we have a little family business that keeps us going by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Uh, you may be surprised if you were to come to my part of the world to see how I live and my standard of living and the way I, I, I actually uh, lead myself or my family. Uh, you may be surprised. You know, people sometimes think, oh, this guy must be a multimillionaire, etc., etc. I thank Allah that I, I don't have greed within me for that which is material. If you notice, I don't wear a watch. I probably won't ever have a pen generally unless I need to use it. It won't be. I, I've given up so many things. I will always wear more or less the same type of clothing, similar shoes all along. Just today, I was given a pair of shoes, uh, local shoes, and I decided to put them on just to be in sync with the rest of the local people. But otherwise, generally, alhamdulillah, I've, uh, I don't mean to, to say any good about myself, but since you asked me the question, you know, what do you need on earth? What is going to make you happy? You have a car. If, if it's a Toyota Corolla like mine, or it's a Mercedes like someone else's, it will still get you from point A to point B. Uh, I, I, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, you know, he has blessed us in a million ways. Whether I'm going to eat my food that is perhaps worth $5 and someone else might eat food worth $50, they're still going to fill the same cavity and the same belly. Uh, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, indeed. Uh, at times we do know that you know, everyone has their needs. Everyone would like to go on holiday. Everyone would like to actually uh, you know, spoil themselves a little bit here and there. Uh, it depends how much you want to do and what your life is focused upon. So my focus, alhamdulillah, is on serving the ummah, serving the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, part of that is to help your family and to ensure that, you know, they're not struggling, suffering. That's, every, that's the duty of every one of us. But alhamdulillah, uh, everything has been, it was actually the advice of the late Ahmed Didat, rahmatullahi alayhi. I met him two years before he passed away. Uh, and he told me, when, while he couldn't speak, actually he spoke with his eyes. Mm -hmm. He couldn't speak like us because he was paralyzed from head to toe. Mm -hmm. And he told me that, you know what, uh, don't copyright. Whatever you do, if you'd like it to reach the four corners of the globe. And I, I didn't copyright it from the very beginning. And you know what, alhamdulillah, I believe that it has reached more than I know myself. And I don't need to know. It's Allah who knows. Mm -hmm. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may he accept it and grant us the reward. I'm always overwhelmed visiting countries like yours, the Gambia. Mm -hmm. As we move through the streets, you know, the people are calling me out by name. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, oh Allah, keep us humble, keep us uh, people who understand that it's not us, it's actually you. If we didn't say what you said, we would have not even been known. Mm -hmm. The only reason why we are known is because you are known. Mm -hmm. So it's your words that we are just repeating. Mm -hmm. So who are we? We are nothing. It's actually you who is the power. You're relatively a young man. In this very interesting world, how do you make sure temptation and other evils never reach you? I think uh, the guide that I have in my father is actually uh, very, very strong, very disciplined and extremely focused. And I want to call on the young, you know, those who look at us and they start thinking, wow, I'd like to be like this, you know. Mashallah, we want you, we want you to go beyond this, but you must be focused and dedicated don't lose focus. If the minute you lose focus, you know, you're gone. Yes, we are human beings. Sometimes we falter. But those, fault, uh, those faults shouldn't be massive ones where you destroy everything, you know. Uh, may Allah protect us all. You know, we are in the spotlight all the time. And it's not, uh, it's not so easy, my, my beloved brother. Uh, but we have to keep going and keep uh, asking Allah's uh, protection. Thank you very much. By way of last question, any general advice to uh, anybody wishing to become Muslim or any Muslim that is found himself, herself outside the deen and wants to come back to find space and to all general young people that may be listening or watching? MashaAllah, tabarakallah. That's, that's a very broad question, but let me try and tackle it in my way. Number one, if anyone would like to enter the fold of Islam, it's very easy. We worship our maker alone. Who made us? We worship him alone. No act of worship is rendered for anyone or anything besides our maker alone. And we follow all the messengers of the Prophet, peace be upon him, with, uh, sorry, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with total respect, ending with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And uh, therefore, you just have to declare within your heart and on your tongue that there is none worthy of worship besides Allah and that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his final messenger. So once you declare that, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, or Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah, 
you are a Muslim because you declare it with your heart and your tongue. Uh, so that is a simple declaration. People go to others to bear witness. Uh, it's, not, it's not necessary, but it would help you through your life for everyone around you to know that you're a Muslim. This is the beauty of Islam. Your relationship is direct with your maker. Direct. You don't confess to anyone besides your maker. He should know, he knows anyway what you've done. You, you are remorseful, you seek forgiveness, you promise not to do it again. Your sin is wiped out. There is no sin under the sun that will not be forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we must remember this and we must turn to Allah seeking his forgiveness on a daily basis. On a broader scale, I'd like to invite myself, yourself and all our viewers and listeners to improve ourselves on a daily basis. To keep on looking within our own selves how we can become better people to yes. those around us. Because what happens, my brother, while we are busy in this world, we tend to forget to develop ourselves. Mm -hmm. And in that, we begin to think that religion is only the five prayers, it's only the charity, it's only the fasting, it's only the hajj, mm -hmm. and forget about the character and conduct. How we treat people means nothing. May Allah bless you and Allah grant you goodness. You know what? I promise you we are trying to serve the deen. We are trying to serve the ummah. We are really trying hard. Yes, you know, the world is changing very fast. And so many other things changing. And they, they are trying to push us to, 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 to streamline. Wallahi, we are holding as best as we can.